Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. And double honors to that was a great millstone while I learned this truth. And also to the whole elect that is scattered abroad. I like to say shalom. And coming back here today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of today's lesson is Take Heed That No Man Deceive You. I like to say shalom to all I listen to learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So the idea about it is a lot of people are constantly being deceived. A lot of people have a, a lack of knowledge. A lot of people have a, 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 a great sense of unbelief. A lot of people do not have the faith because the idea about it, the God of this world has blinded them. And the idea about it, they, they, they are that rebellious house that did not want to return to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. They're going on in the ways of the world, constantly being Toss back and forth, you know what I'm saying? All, all, all over the place. And I did about it, you know, constantly in this uh, 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 man made religion, which in fact is white man Jesus, you know, and also colonial plantation gospel. And I did about it, it's constantly uh, uh, destroying our people each and every day. And we constantly warn you, telling you uh, uh, the truth, but we have become your enemy. And I did about it, you like smooth talk, smooth sayings, you know, things that's pleasing to you. But I did about it. But the, the truth about it is that, you know, you are going to die if you're not seeking the Lord. You're not uh, in the right uh, mindset. You are getting ready to be destroyed. You are the two third that will be cut off and die on the side. So my people are destroyed all day long for a lack of now. Who, who are those people? The Israelite, the Hispanic, the Negro, the Native Indian, you know what I'm saying? And the Mexican. I'm talking to you and I do the best that it's time to seek the Lord and a lot of our people constantly being deceived from the left hand side Esau even so called white man you know and white man Jesus constantly destroying our people each and every day and I do the best lining up like clockwork taking that Jim Jones juice and I do the best that we constantly warn you but the idea about it that you will be deceived so the title of the day lesson once again is let no man deceive you so we'll get started open up with a quick precept and Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8 And it reads Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy And vain deceit after the tradition of men After the uh, rudiments of the world And not after the Hamasiah So the idea about it is that you know The teachings of the world uh, The wisdom of the world is, is, is foolishness to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And a lot of people love going on in the ways of the world You know everyone can be saved uh, Everything is going to be alright Uh uh, World War Three is not upon them. They're talking crazy. Everything is sunshine outside. Everything is lovely. You know, at ease. You know what I'm saying? Drinking and being merry. But you know what I'm saying? In thy security, you shall be destroyed because you were deceived. He said, let no man deceive you. That's the first thing he said in uh, Matthew chapter 24. We'll get that after a while. But the idea about it, a lot of people constantly being deceived, left and right. And the idea about it, they cannot believe because they have, they have been blinded. The Lord had closed the door on them. So now, let's open up the lesson. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 29. Jeremiah chapter 29, one moment. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 29. Hoping you're getting uh, edified by the lesson today at lunchtime, a quick lunchtime hit. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 8. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 8, one moment. <clears throat> and it reads, For thus said the Lord of hosts, the, the Most High of Israel, let not your prophets and your diviners that, that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearking to your dreams, which ye cause to be a uh, dream. So the idea about that, the Lord's constantly letting you know, don't let no man deceive you. And the idea about it, you know, we have a lot of false prophets, T.D. Snakes, you have, uh, 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 what's his other name, uh, Joel Osteen, a lot of these big uh, mega churches. And the idea about it, they are constantly deceiving people each and every day, leading you into the path of destruction. And the idea about it, that, you know, constantly scattering the flock. And the idea about it, a lot of people are what not called to preach. And the idea about it, only the Israelites. And the idea about it, that, you know, a lot of people are constantly uh, 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 causing confusion. Causing all type of uh, 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 a separation, and I did about it. you are going to be destroyed for that. Constantly lying, telling you sweet nothing, and all type of deceits. You know what I'm saying? And I did about it. a lot of people are constantly don't even know that they are, uh, are deceived. But I did about it. let's get a quick precept. Let's go to Job. One moment before we before we go any further. Let's go to Job chapter twelve. Job chapter twelve. One moment and verse sixteen. One moment. Job. One moment. Job chapter 12 Job chapter 12 and verse 
16. One moment. <clears throat> and it reads, it says, uh, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and deceiver are his. So that little body, the one that's doing the deceiving is the Lord. You know, the Lord, you know, everyone is in the power of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And also the one that has been deceived, you know, the deceiver and the, and the deceived is his. And that little body is that, you know, it's no escaping uh, 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 the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, it's a terrible thing to fall in the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that little body, a lot of people constantly uh, getting rocked back to sea. A lot of people uh, have unbelief. A lot of people do not have the faith. And that little body, you are going to be destroyed because you were deceived. The God of this world has blinded you. And that little body said the, the, the election has attained and the rest was blinded. So now let's go to uh <clears throat> let's go to Mark chapter 13 and verse 22. Mark chapter 13. Mark chapter 13 and verse 22. One moment. Mark chapter 13 and verse 22. For false Hamasiachs and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce if it were possible, even the elect, but it's not possible. The house of David, you know, we have the spirit of discernment. And I did about it's almost you must always try the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And I did about it that you know the the spirit bear witness who are the uh, the chosen, the elect. You know what I'm saying? Because that little bit we constantly constantly dwelling in this great wisdom and knowledge. So will be a lot of false prophets telling you that everything would be all right. You know, telling you that, you know, the Lord love everyone. You know, all sorts of uh, wickedness. You know what I'm saying? All sorts of deceits and lies. And I do about our people loved it. Oh, the Lord, we're not good. He's not going to come back and destroy the whole earth. Oh, no, he's not going to do any of that. You know, oh, everything going to be all right. He's going to come back. All you must do is, is, is tell him, you know, that, you know, you repent and you shall be saved. You know, if you believe that, then you will be destroyed. And I do about it's more things to be done than that. You know what I'm saying? Faith and work work hand in hand. And now everybody, if you do not have that, then it's dead. And now everybody, you are going to be dead. A lot of our people are constantly in the congregation of the dead, constantly being deceived each and every day, lining up, believing everything what this so called white man, this red devil, has to tell them each and every day. But the idea about it, though, in the end, you are in for a rude awakening. And the Lord said, They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So that little bit, we're constantly warning. And a lot of our people constantly getting getting rocked back to sleep. So now, let's go to uh <clears throat> let's go to uh, Ephesians chapter five. One moment. Quick lesson at lunchtime. Ephesians chapter five, one moment. Ephesians chapter five and verse six, one moment. <laughs> Ephesians chapter five and verse six. Uh, six and it reads, Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things comes the wrath of the Most High upon the children of disobedience. And who are the children of disobedience? The two thirds, the one that didn't want to come back, the one that do not want to hear, the one that is constantly despising. And that little body, you know, they're they are very vain, they're very proud, you know, in their own deceit, their own belief. And that little body, they're going on in the ways of the world. And that little body, that the Lord, you know, they are children of disobedience and they're going to be destroyed. And that little body, that wrath is coming, you know what I'm saying? Recompense and jump is right upon us. And that little body, we constantly warn you. But yet, yet and still, you constantly believe in and a man made man. The Lord said, do not put your confidence in man, but put your total trust in your house. By Shem, Yahweh Shai. So now let's go to Ephesians chapter 6 and we'll go to verse uh, 11. And it reads, back up with what I just said. And it, and it reads, put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So that little body is that, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, the devil is busy. And that little body, the, the physical uh, counterpart of Satan, the so called white man. And that about each and every day, he's constantly on TV, constantly broadcasting, telling, you know, oh, we got to get this population under control. We have the cure. We have everything. We can save you. We can save life. And that little body, you constantly getting rocked back to sleep. A lot of people constantly lining up, constantly taking that, you know what? And that little body, constantly believing, you know, in everything this man has to offer. You know what I'm saying? Constantly playing. He's playing God each and every day. But that little body, the Lord said, once that man of sin be revealed, you know what I'm saying? Total destruction is coming. And he has been revealed. He is the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And that little body, we constantly warn you. But that little body, you love the devil and you hate the Lord. And that little body, the Lord is getting ready to destroy you. So now, let's go to uh, 2 Thessalonians. One moment. 2 Thessalonians, one moment. 2 Thessalonians. One moment, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, one moment, and verse 3. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3, one moment. And it reads, let no man deceive you by any means, for that they shall 
shall not come except there be a falling away first. It already have happened. And that that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. He's been revealed. He saw even the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Verse 4, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called the most high or, or is worship, that is worship, so that he 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 as the most high citizen in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. So that is about white man Jesus. And I did about it that, you know, that is our oppressor and also our enemy. And I did about it that he covered the face of the judgment. When you read about that in Job chapter 9 and verse 24. And I did about it, he has been revealed. And I did about a lot of people cannot believe it. That, that you know, we tell them each and every day that, you know, the Lord is a is a Negro man from the tribe of Judah. His hair was like wool. You know what I'm saying? His, his feet was like burnished bread. His eyes were like a flaming fire. And I did about it that, you know, he had a deep baritone voice. They do not believe that. They constantly believe in it. White men, Jesus, a lie. So now, we'll start back up. Let's go, let's drop down. Let's drop down to verse 10. And it and it reads, and with all deceivingness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Verse 11, and for this call, the Most High shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So that little bad is that a lot of people constantly believe in a lie and they're comfortable, you know, in their in, in a own, uh, 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 in their own comfort zone. And that little bad, he's thinking that they are righteous, but that little bad, you are going to be destroyed because the idea about it, you, 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 you're constantly uh, believing everything uh, 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 that, this man has to offer. You know what I'm saying? And I did about it that, you know, he's only a man. And I did about it, the true power of all heaven and earth is getting ready to come back and set things back into order. And I did about it, he said, take heed that no man deceive you. And I did about it, the Lord meant that. And I did about it, a lot of people are constantly being deceived each and every day. The two third, and they're getting ready to die. You, they will know it, death by pain. So now, let's go to, uh, <clears throat> one moment. Let's go to, uh, Second Peter chapter two, Second Peter chapter two. One moment. Second Peter chapter two and verse. We we'll start up at verse one. Second Peter chapter two and verse one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as the as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in uh, damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them and and bring upon themselves swift uh, swift destruction. So that little bad is that, you know, we have a lot of our people, you know, they have a zeal for the most high, but that little bad is not according to knowledge. And that little bad is that, you know, once you start uh, uh, telling them about the word, telling them about the truth, they constantly uh, they start despising the truth because the idea about it, you know, they, they are totally against Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So the spirit bear witness, witness to who they are. And that little bad is that, you know, each and every day, you must have that discernment each and every day through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So now, let's go to, uh, <clears throat> one moment. Let's go to, uh, let's see what I want to go to now. One moment. Let's go to, uh, Matthew chapter 24, title of the day lesson. Matthew chapter 24, one moment. Matthew chapter 24, and we'll start up at verse, at verse three. And it reads, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciple came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the signs of thy coming and the end of the world. And, and verse four, and Yahweh shall answer and said unto, unto them, take heed, that no man deceive you. Uh, verse five, for many shall come in my name saying, I am the Hamasiah and shall be, and shall deceive many. So a lot of people are constantly being deceived. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're telling you that, you know, it's rumors of war. A lot of people don't believe that World War III read upon them. They don't believe that uh, uh, Ukraine and Russia, you know, might uh, uh, go, go to war, NATO. You know, Israel and Iran, that's what the Bible said. You know, a lot of people don't believe that. They're constantly saying the world is going to go on forever and forever. And that little about it. You're constantly getting rocked back to sleep. And that little about it is that, you know, the Lord have a strong delusion upon you. And that little about it, you have been uh, uh, blinded. And that little about it, the Lord don't want you this time. And that little about it, because you was that rebellious house that did not want to return. So now let's get a quick precept. Let's go to uh, Second Ezra chapter 5. One moment. Second Ezra chapter 5. One moment. Second Ezra chapter 5, and we'll start at the top at verse 1. 
Nevertheless, as the common uh, tokens or the common signs, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. So that it'll be a lot of people is getting ready to be taken in a great number because they was deceived. They did not want to believe, and now they'll about they did not want to return to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And now they'll about great death and mourning is getting ready to happen, you know, in a great way. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, death and destruction. And now they'll about our people are constantly are being deceived. You know, listen at uh Pastor Paul, everything gonna be all right. The love, the Lord love everyone. You know, he's coming back. Oh man, everything gonna be we're gonna have a Wayne Day doodle when he get here. You know what I'm saying? But that deal about the Lord is coming to lay this place down. He's coming to do a, a lot of killing. And, and that deal about our people uh, 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 are going to be in for a rude awakening. Hmm. I'm telling you. So now, let's start back up at 2 uh, Ezra chapter 5 and verse, verse 2. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest or that thou hast heard long ago. So that it'll buy that, you know, the love of men is waxing cold. A lot of people are hating one another, betraying one another, each and every day, stabbing one another in the back. And that and that it'll buy constantly uh going in the ways of this world. They're constantly getting more and more wicked each and every day. And that it'll buy the only one that we understand is the elect. And that it'll buy we are ready, we are ready to get delivered and get out of here, out of this wicked kingdom. Because that it'll buy it's getting ready to be totally destroyed. And we're right upon World War III. Right upon the MOTB, which in fact is the RFD microchip, which in fact is the market B. We're constantly warning you, but you're constantly being deceived from the left-hand side. So now, let's get a quick precept. Let's go to 1 John. One moment. Let's go to 1 John chapter one moment. 1 John's <clears throat> one moment. First John. Having a little problem with the phone. One moment. First John. First John chapter. Let's see where we want to go. First John chapter four and verse one. First John chapter four and verse one. Beloved of the house of day, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are gone out unto the world so that little body is, is you know you see it all throughout the four corners where you have false prophets constantly uh telling deceits and lies you know a lot of people in this uh uh a uh, 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 man-made religion you know what i'm saying uh uh buddha uh islam muslim muslim all these th different religions uh, uh the church of god in christ you know what i'm saying all this is it's, it's you know constantly confusing people that's why you must always try the spirit so now we'll drop down to verse uh, 1 John chapter 4 and, and verse 2 And it reads Hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is, is come in the flesh of the Most High So that it'll be that You know what I'm saying We must, must constantly uh, be a discerner of the spirit each and every day You know see what spirit a person is coming in You know what I'm saying And that it'll be that You know the truth going to bear witness who, who the elect is And that it'll be We're constantly warning You left and right You know what I'm saying Take heed that no man deceive you each and every day. And that is about a lot of our people are constantly uh, are going to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? He said, my people reject the knowledge and I also will reject thee. And that is about, that's Hosea chapter four and verse six. And that is about, we're constantly warning. Let's get one more and we'll close out. Let's go to Revelation. We'll close out here. Let's go to Revelation chapter 18 and we'll close out here. A quick lunchtime hit. Revelation chapter 18 and we'll start up at verse 23. And uh, and it reads, and the light of a candle shall shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee, for my for thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for 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 by thy sorcery, for by thy sorcery were all the nation deceived. Verse twenty four, and and in her was found the blood of prophets and and of the saints and all that were slain upon the earth. So that little about by thy sorceries and that little about is that the sorcery that the so-called white man is using all his evil uh, devices, all his evil plan. We're not ignorant of Satan device. We're not uh, deceived. That's why the Lord said, "Take heed that no man deceive you." And that little about by thy sorcery. You know when you go look that word up, mean pharmacia. You know pharmacy. And that'll about a lot of people are constantly lining up, taking that you know what. And that'll about he said, 
all nations. And now everybody, when you go to Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 through 18, you will not be able to buy or sell unless you had that you know what. And the ideal about it is that we're constantly warning you, you left and right. Take heed that no man deceive you. That is the title of the day's lesson. And I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. I like to say, Shalom.